Hello everyone and welcome to the new Tiny Tuesdays. Let's say hello to everybody that's here already. Oh, hold on. There we go. I had that one open. Hello, Liz, Herb, Robin, Steve. And that's so far who's here. So welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me on this Tiny Tuesday. And um, we're going to continue working on the craft room today. I have already built some of the, the pieces, but I'll show you um, how I put it together. Because if, if I did it on my live, I would be here um, six, seven hours trying to cut, you know, just a piece of wood. Because <laughs> I was doing it by hand with this guy. So... I'm going to switch to the overhead cam. Oh, I always wanted to show you some earrings I made. The little Coca-Cola can. And also, um, I made a stitch marker with the Coca-Cola can, but even smaller. I'll show you on the, on the overhead camera because this one's a, a, a bit small. So I'll show you that on the over camera. This overhead camera. Let's go to the... Yay, hi. Can I control and look? Nope, that doesn't make it bigger. It just makes the screen. Okay. Hi, Connie. Connie B. You're on vacation, you're leaving soon? That's not fair, Liz. Where are you going? So here's the, because I'm working on another project, right? And this is what they call hook binders. Where if you if you stop a project, you, you don't want to lose your stitch. So you hook it to the end of the stitch there. And, that, and if you have so many projects like I do, you want to remember which, which letter hook that you were using. So you got that one that has, come on there a G hook right and then there's oh, the, there we go let's turn it turn it turn it there we go a little coca-cola can isn't that cute I made a couple for the for the um for the craft room too actually one for the craft room so let's move on over to the craft room Bring it on over. She's in Pennsylvania. I've never been to Pennsylvania. I hear it's nice. Are you going to Hershey Park? My dad's been to Hershey Park. My dad used to live in New York and they used to go to those places around there. So you have fun. See, this is this is what I ordered for the craft room, right? But um, this is the size of it, right? And this is the size of the chair. So it, it, it's a little big, what do you think? Yeah. So, but I, I'll, I'll be trying to make something similar to this for for the this one here. We're going to be making some little yarn balls like this here for the craft room. Let's see if I can, I can make it focus. There you go. We're going to make some little yarn balls. And I already have, I'm going to show you how to do it. I've got some red heart labels and some I love this yarn. So, oh yeah, and, and, and the, the little Coca-Cola cans also got some different, um, Labels for some different different soda pops. Let me pull it, pull it out. I have to make these as well. So I just have to get some, uh, some dowels. Uh, I got to get close to this thing. There we go. 
It wants to be up and up close and personal. So, okay. The first thing I did was this Calyx unit. Let me, I need to move something over. There we go. And uh, this, hi, hi, Regina. The reason this is open like this is because I'm using scrap wood that I have left over. And I only had enough to do this section and this section because I needed it for it to for it to not wobble. So I needed a, a backing of some sort. So what I used was um, this is um, some wood from Dollar Tree that they sell them in six packs. They're about about I think it's an eighth of an inch. Let me get my ruler. Yeah, they're, they're an eighth of an inch thick. Hi, Tinker Bella. Did you were you the one that wanted to see the llama and tumbling tower block? Because I put I just posted the the llama on my page. Uh, it's it's a box of boxes. Yes. Hello, Mr. Doug. How's my Annie girl? So what I did was cut pieces 12 inch. I mean 12 inches, which yeah, it would be um one inch because it's a one by 12 right you are making it i want to see pictures yes 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 i want to see pictures hello miss margie so i cut the pieces one inch wide and i sort of messed up if i don't know if you can tell i was supposed to do, do these 12 by 12 right one inch by inch but this one came out bigger I'm not sure what what I messed up. <laughs> Give her something, Doug. So um, if you do yours, um, I would, let's see, I could tell you. Cut your piece. Where's my pencil? Here. I should find my pencil now. I got a flower on it. You see that little flower? Oh, cool. I definitely want to see what you're working on, Miss Tinkerbella. So, um, just add this right here to right here. So, if you're, if you're, if you're make, remaking this, you would need to cut your wood at actually six inches. Because you need an a eighth of an inch over here, right? So, you would need to cut your wood at six inches. From, from here to here to make this square the same size. So it's six inches, and, and then this side is okay. That's also six inches. So ta-da! You would need to cut the... You got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces that are one inch by six inches. And don't, don't look at my lines. They're not, they're not cut straight. It's a little wobbly sometimes. And then these pieces here are one inch by one inch. So just pop those in there. They're individual little pieces in here. I gotta sand some of them. Let me get my little oh, hold on. Uh, not that one. This one. And that little edge if I missed one. So I sanded it all down on top. So, so now it's now it's all nice and even. On so the, the the side pieces are the same size as here. So it makes it a better and like I said, I added this to get the give it so it wouldn't start. So if you want you find a, a piece that's the full six by six back here. To, to cover it. So I, I, I just had whatever I had and um that's what I got. So there's the Calyx unit. So we're going to do little bins to go in our calyx. They're 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 uh, but um they're 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 not exactly one inch like I wanted them to, because that will make it a 12-inch box. There's some of them, 
it's really really tight so if i made a box that was one inch uh, it would be real tight to go in so these are, are a little bit smaller in order to have to have some to, some room to wiggle around there so you see like that so i did it i went into my publisher and and i made one of these guys this is a I just made a whole bunch of um, templates on the purple paper. I'm going to show you how I did one, and then I'll do the other ones off screen. So where you see the, the dotted lines, the dotted lines is where you're going to cut. So let's start cutting. So how was everyone's Easter? Ours was quiet. Okay, and you cut, come and cut this over here on this side. And I and I, and I, I changed my mind of on um, which wall the Codex unit it was going to go on. Because the way I have um, save that if you want to. If not, you can toss it. When I put this into the calyx, my big giant calyx unit, I want to be able to see all my pretties on on this guy here. So this is going to be on the 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 this wall here that we put the wallpaper on. So this is going to be back here instead. So that way, when you walk by on the bookshelf, you can see it. So now, where's my? There it is. We're going to crease these and then we're going to fold and glue them so you just put put your ruler on the line that, and then just pick these guys up so the cubes are, are what the, the size of, of the squares you have on on your on your bookcase so like I said, my bookcase is, is one inch squares. So the cube had to be just slightly smaller than one inch. Like I said, if you want want them to go in in and out easily, because if you want to put stuff in there, you can, but you don't have to, it's, it's so tiny. But who knows, I, I may want to put, you know, some some supplies or, or hide some jewelry or cash. I didn't say that guys. So here we go. Just, whoops. Just fold these guys up a little bit. So that way, when you fold it, you got a nice crease. I hope I didn't miss anybody coming in. If I haven't said hello, I'm sorry. Say, say hello again, and I'll say hello back. And, um,. Somebody stole my art glitter glue bottle. I was using it today, right, for my project. Did it, did it hide back there somewhere? Hmm. Oh, there it is. I found it. It was hiding. Yadi came in. Where's Yadi? I'm sorry if I miss Yadi. Speaking of Yadi, um, let's remember Miss Carmen. Tomorrow she goes in for surgery, so um, keep her in your prayers that everything goes well. Then, am I missing some people coming in? No, uh, everybody else is a little, a little behind. Hello, Aisha.
So if you haven't done so, um, please hit the thumbs up. And sh share, share the video out with your friends so they can come and join us. See, some of these I didn't cut completely right. So you see how that one's a little bit. So what you do, this, this piece here will go on the side so you can't see it. That's that's up where I'm doing. Right, right. And I I need to work on on a small small piece for next week because um all that cutting that I was doing by hand hurt my hand. So this most this right here is sore. It's like when I pull it my hand like that, I can't. It hurts. So I need to do something that doesn't require me cutting a lot. See the sides are a little taller here. So what we do, we're gonna put this as the front. So get the prettiest side, right? And then we're gonna get a hole puncher, just a regular hole punch. And you're gonna put the hole halfway on the top and halfway on off of it. And I'm just eyeballing it. And then you got the little notch. So now we got we got three boxes. We're gonna put the boxes in. You can make us make them all boxes if you want, or just a few boxes. So th there's there's the um piece. See how the, the, they're all the same size box because I cut the, from the same paper, but you see this one's a little bit, little bit wider. So it depends on where you put these guys. Some of them are, like I said, I'm doing this by hand. So, and um, I'll I'll paint this off screen. I won't. What else am I make? Are you adding to it? Well, I'm going to be adding some the little yarn balls, right? So you're going to have the little yarn balls in there. Like that. So I have different color yarn balls. Yeah, come on, come on. Oh, I have to show you the, the, the little skein of yarn, um, earrings that I made too. Like that. So I may make a little vase or something to put in there. A little picture frame. Who knows? We'll see where it, where it takes us. Of course. Oh, you have purple boxes in yours too. I have um, mine are, are neutral. They're black and white, and you know beige on my, my actual Calyx unit. Yes, I made those, and I'm going to show you how to make them too. They're not very hard. I, I thought when I saw them, it's like, oh my goodness, that's going to be so hard. But they're not. So, like I said, this is going to go on the back wall like that. And where's, I lost one of them. Where'd it go? No. Oh, well. oh, they're both there. Oh, there's just one. But I made these yarn hanks earrings there they are but i'm going to make some even smaller i saw someone make them smaller for the one to twelve um scale but these are little mini hanks that i made so i'm going to make them even smaller because these are way too big for the for the because they're, they're a lot a lot wider than the than the than the, the the cubes. Okay, let's do um a quick yarn ball, guys. We're gonna need a straw that I cut down into. Hold on. Into let's see. Half inch pieces, which is like a six inch yarn ball. Because where are they? Here's a, here's a one. The, these are a little bit bigger than six inches, but when you when you yeah that fell. These are let's 
eight inches, right? But when you start winding the yarn into here, it gets it wider. So start with the six inch piece of straw. And it's, um, let's see. Let's see how wide. It is one, a little less than three eighths. One, two, three, a little less than three eighths. So we got that. Then we got some embroidery floss that what I did was dub, double it over. I hope I, I hope I have I have enough left on here. Cause I use one one um embroidery um floss skein and I've already made two of them with and this is what's left over. So let's play some yarn chicken. Well in this case floss chicken. Let's see if we can if we can have enough. So just with on a, on a darning needle, just put it through there. And we're just gonna go through and then come back over and through. I hope I had enough. And then just go to right next to it. If possible, if you can get the 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 straw the color of the yarn, that way you don't see that green in between. So you need, you need to be nice and tight with them. Hello, Miss Chris. How are you doing, sir? Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. And after this, I'll show you how I did the, the mini pegboard. I have a, a shorts on my YouTube channel of me poking all the 200 and was it 56 holes? And I'll show you how I did that. And yes, I did all those holes. Hi, Carmen. I ask everyone to keep you in prayer tomorrow as you go into surgery. Please let us know how it comes out when you come out. Everything went okay. And the funny thing is when I was doing these um, balls of yarn, I didn't realize that I I picked two colors. I mean, like, oh, I'm gonna do two colors of, of, of you know, embroidery floss for the yarn and um they both turned out purple one is a little darker than the other it's like oh okay it is two different colors it's just they're both purple it's like, oh okay so it looks like you can you can get three little balls of yarn with one embroidery floss skein i'll show you um what they look like so just, just try to move it over where, to, where the green is so that way it covers it up the most hot way possible and just tighten a little bit. Oh, you got to get up early. Oh, my. We'll definitely be in our prayers. And you'll be crafting with us soon. There we go. And wherever you see a green a green spot, just bring the embroidery floss through again. Ooh, ooh, 16 people in the house. Thank you, guys. I think I need to do another one right here. The more... The um, floss you have the the better the the ball of yarn would look because I try to do it um, where I covered j just the, the the green and that was it but if you do it a couple times in some certain spots 
the hole in the middle um gets tighter so it looks like like an actual ball of yarn uh, hold on let's see i think we we got it i think we got it like i said as long as you got this guy likes to get close and personal sometimes there we go see you just turn it and make sure that you don't have any green showing so what i do hold on a second So I have plenty of floss to, to make all these little, so each one of these is a uh, 10 yards. So, so you can make three skeins per, for floss. So look at all these different colors. So I'll be making, that's why I already have the pieces all cut and ready. This is probably something you can sit in front of the TV and just start winding. So what I do is just cut cut it right here at the end, right there. Oop, oop, that didn't cut all the way through. There. And cut right there. Okay. And then so it doesn't come unravel on you. It's pretty tight in there, but just in case, I just drop a piece of blue right there. Tap, tap, tap. Over here too. Where we, wherever you cut it, tap, tap, tap. And this is the same same color as I did these right here. So we're gonna do a red heart label. And I I I I got these images off of Google and just just made them the size I needed. I think I needed them a little bit wider, but. I already printed them out, so it is what it is. And it's like a lot of these labels are not going to be seen because the way I'm going to stack it is, but it's just fun if you have a, a label that's, you know, standing on, on its side or something. So I just, just put a little bit of glue right there at the end and just roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. And this one has a little piece of white. I'm going to cut right off. Once I show you the, the pegboard, I'll, I'll, I'll flip the camera so you guys can see the way I'm laying the kitchen. keep on saying kitchen because that's what I did last. The way I'm laying out the craft room. And again, this... I'm not gluing anything down until the end because who knows what I'm adding if I need to move something around. So it, it's, it's just, um, and wait, which way? This way. And there's, where, where, hold on. There's the skein of yarn. See? See the glue already dried. So you got the. So now I have five little skeins of yarn. And like I said, they're, they're a little bit lo longer than six inches now. Because you see, be before it was six inches. Now it's just probably, I would say, eight inches, which is the size of a ball of yarn. So we could put these in the, on the shelf. I'll definitely be making whew, a whole bunch. That's a that's a red heart. So let's put because I could easily put nine in a in a oh I for, I forgot about it's not Good Friday. I should have taken that off. <laughs> okay, now for the itty bitty pegboard let's get all this stuff out of the way so you can 
I, I don't know what, what, what possessed me to do this, but I did. I, I think I was thinking of just, just doing an image of a pegboard, but I actually made the pegboard. You ready, guys? Are you ready? Show me hands up who wants to see this pegboard. Come on, show me a hand. Say hello. Let's see how many people... If you haven't yet, uh, don't forget it. To give me a thumbs up. Ready, set. There's my pegboard. I poked all those itty bitty 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 holes. And I believe there's 256. What I did on on this side, because I was trying to do, um, ooh, wake up, camera. I was trying to do the lines myself. But the lines were not coming out even. <laughs> so I'm like, how am I going to get this even? So what I did was print this guy here. And these guys, um, by scale, they're about, uh, let's see, about three inches wide. Welcome back, Herb. The, a, a pegboard is, is smaller, but um, for this size, I wasn't going to get it any smaller. So these are three inch squares, right? So they're eighth of an inch square. So what I did was glue this to the back side of this, like this, and started poking every single little hole. And then what I did was with the leftover wood from the bookcase, I cut a eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, piece of um of the board to make it frame so when you put it up you have the room in there. hello mr arthur so there's the pegboard and <laughs> yes i'm going to you know i'm crazy you know it's crazy but it's true this is the wire it's um a 0.5 millimeter it's just the right size for this guy here. So I'm going to like go through the hole. It's real small. The holes are real small. Oh, I used, um, where is it? I'll show you what I used to poke the hole. It's from Dollar Tree. And that, did I put it away? I don't think I did. Oh, hold on, let me see if I put it away. No, I didn't put it away. So it's around here somewhere. It's a little pokey tool from Dollar Tree. Uh. Uh. Oh, well. Ah! Timber! I don't see it anywhere. I'll come, uh, I'll come across it in a second. But I'm going to go through the back here with this wire. I'm going to need my, my, my magnifier and just go through. You see? I don't know if you can see right. You see? Right? So I'm going to tape it back here. Let me get my cutter. I'm not going to mess up my scissors. And you want a nice piece back there. So. Let me get a piece of tape. Ah, there we go. I'm just using painter tape, painter's tape for now. I'll just tape it back here, so that way it doesn't move when you you're trying to um when you're trying to shape the front like that. Just tape it. See, love you. 
careful. So here's the the peg on a, on that side. So you just shape it right, and then get the little corner, the tip, and bend. So I have to do that several hundred times. No, no, no I'm gonna probably do three or four, and then to hang things on. Let's see if it if if it will focus. There we go. And there's the peg. I'm crazy, I know. So I'll probably put, do some little packages to hang from there. Actually, I was gonna try to do it this way. I mean, the peg has to be going this way. Cause I, I want it this way. Okay, okay. So that's the peg. I was I was measuring the the the, the little sewing machine that I got off of Temu, which I have it affiliate link i'm not making every hook for every one of those i'll probably do it like a dozen or something because once you start hang, hanging things from it um it'll, it'll get fooled quick this is the the little sewing machine that i got off of temu i have affiliate link down below get 30 percent off your first order and i get i get a little little commission off every order using my 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 link i appreciate that this little guy here, they say it was is one twelve, one to twelve, but it's not. So I thought maybe taking it off of here, it would look a little better. But when I went measured mine, it's um, it's smaller than my sewing machine. I could fudge it and say, oh, it's no one's gonna come in here and measure, right? I don't think they will. So I'm going to switch over to the other camera. So you guys can see what I'm doing. See how I'm laying this. Hello again. And then we'll... I'm going to be moving you. There we go. There we go. There we go. So uh, let's take let's take all the all the furniture off so we can go step by step, right? Step by step. I was thinking on this wall here to keep it uh, neutral, right? Be careful! I might do that. <laughs> Chris, there, there has to be tools and supplies all over my, my, um, hello, T. Marie. I was thinking of doing this. Thank you, Liz. This mineral from Waverly. It's, a, it's like a, a light gray. See, I was thinking of painting this wall, that light gray. What do you guys think? Or should I paint it white? Because the furniture is going to be white. Like the, the calyx unit is going to be white. So as you can see, the, the little yarn balls and the little cases. So this is going to be on this wall here. I don't know if it went on that, towards that side. Or that side. See, that's why I don't, I don't. The gray, I think the, the gray would be nice too. That's why I'm not gluing anything down because... By the time I put everything in here, I may be doing this number back and forth. So for now, right there. And then I got, guys, I don't know if you saw my, my opening of my Temu. Temu? I think it's Temu. Light gray. Thank you, Miss Margie. I think we're going to go with the gray. Yes, Tinkerbella. And Miss Temu. Oh, we have a consensus. Gray. This little. Come on. Oh, gosh. It's a little clipboard, but not only that, but look, I don't have, where's my pokey tool? Jeez, but look, it's got, it's got sheets of paper. 
that you can actually write on. Look at that. Oh, come on. Is there a way to, to, to get an autofocus camera to actually autofocus? But you see the little clipboard? Okay. Well, it's a little clipboard. Oh, now you want to focus when I pull away. Thank you. So we got that to put on. This is the dining table that w was supposed to go into the kitchen that Miss Annie gave me. But um, I, I made a new table for that one. So we're going to use this as the craft table. So like I said, who knows where it's going to go. But for now, it's right there. It's going to have the clipboard. I got this from um, Hobby Lobby on clearance. It's a little calendar. It's metal. So that's going to go on the desk. It's, it came with a little letter opener. Right? A little, little ink well. Piece of paper behind it for focus. Let's see if that works. That piece of paper here. Oh. Oh, oh well. Let's try that. Okay. There we go. Isn't that cute? Even the the top of and but it has all these little papers on it. And then. The calendar, it's also a little piece of metal that has a little stand on the back. Oh, come on. There we go. So it's got a little calendar. I will be making a, a cutting mat like this one to put it on here. So that that's coming too. So we did the cork board last week, right? So I was thinking if I put this right here, more or less, we can have the cork board right there or right here. Well, when you're sitting down, you can, you know, put your little knickknacks on there, pictures, postcards, thank you cards, whatever, right there, right? So let's move this this way so we can lean that right there. So I'm not sure if I want to put the pegboard here next to the calyx. Let's turn let's turn this a little bit so you can see. Ah, timber! Because there's a bunch of other things I want to make for here, like, like that rolly cart. See, I want to make this rolly. See how big that rolly cart is. I want to make a rolly cart this size for this. I want to make a, a mannequin, a dress form, also for this. So I was not sure if I want to put the pegboard here on this wall or here on this wall. So like like I said, that's why I'm not gluing anything down until I finish all the pieces. Then we'll start putting things in. So let's put this there for now. Like I said, I'm going to add some more pegs and some more itty bitty packages. And then we got th this that I made last year. So I'll probably get make a shelf or something over here. This guy is too small. You see how maybe a, a little side table like that. Oh, that'll work there. A little side table and I could put like that on there. Like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll work things out when, when we get there. Like I said, I'm, I may have to make a new sewing machine. So I need to make a, a new sewing machine and a table for it because this is too small. Oh, this could be like a, oh, you know what this could be? One of those antique um, single sewing machines and we could just display it on the calyx like that. Doesn't have to be the, the right size. We'll make a right size for the this piece here. And I printed this out. I haven't glued it on because I want to paint the frame first. And who can guess what's on this on this picture? Let's see who who gets a point. 
who can get what I put on here? I'll give you guys a few seconds. No, but I need, I need to make a, I need to do something with Bob Ross on it. <laughs> yes. No. My tagline, which is on t-shirts on my website, if anybody wants one. So that I have to glue it. I don't have it. Like I said, I don't have it glued because I want to paint the, so I don't know if I want to put that there or here or you know depending on if if i put that like this if i'm gonna put it even with this over here because they're the same size like i said think things will, will get moved around you you'll see the box the same and then we'll just keep on adding keep on adding until i say okay we can start loading it up right so we got that the, i need to glue on there and like i said i did i see that if the paper trick helps hold on let me see where is it there you go come on is it the light there we go i made a little itty bitty can so we're going to give my little crafter something to drink. Let's put this guy over here for now so you can see. Like I said, it, it, it don't have to be there. It could be in the center of the room or up closer this way. Or who this this could also be changed like this to to move this this way like this and put the the calyx like like some of those the actual tables from the calyx that you can add like that. Yeah, yes, I, w I will be doing a, a picture of my hubby and I. Well, I'm going to make some floating shelves too. Because like I said, I, I don't know where everything's going to go yet. So like, see this, put this centered on this wall. I could put like this on this on this side over here like this, right? Well, it's not centered now because this, the frame is bigger, but like that. So you put the table like that. Everything's falling down. But the, the, the possibilities are so Many, I'm not. I'm. I'm getting a little overwhelmed. Like, okay, what we're doing next? So, like I said, I'm gonna be be rolling up some bottles of yarn, or this can be in the center of the room. This can be like here in the front. I'm gonna have fun to, trying to figure out. Let, let's see if if I can. This is not as heavy as the, the kitchen, so I can pick it up easier. So that's what it looks like right now. So things can change. Oh, oh my, I, I guess I can, I didn't have anything else scheduled to do today. Any ideas on something something quick and easy I can I can make right now? Any ideas? Hello, Michelle. Thank you. It's getting there. Oh, you, do you guys mind if I paint the wall gray while you guys are watching, or if that's too boring? Let me know. I'll go get the brush and the paint. Do we want to do that? 
Yes, no, maybe. Move these guys out of the way. Paint the way. All right. And I don't want to mess up the... Um, I'm putting this on my clothes so that way it's not as tacky and mess up my my scrapbook paper. So we're going to cut this down just like any room where you tape off and slowly lift it up. You don't want to rip it. Rip it, rip it, rip it. We can do this. There we go. Paint, paint. Okay, we're, we're painting, we're painting. Okay, my, my next question of I'm painting. I'm painting the box. I need to sand this piece down here. Painting this gray. Do what? Do what? Thank you. It's an actual, it's an actual, it's an address. It's, it's all the way down. It's just... Should I paint the frame around the the full windows up here white or also the gray? Let me know. Let me know. Oh, I need to pack that off a little bit. I'm going to show you something, guys, that, that I feel so cool about. When I bought this dress about three years ago now, I thought it was going to fit, but it didn't close at all. So I just left it in the closet. That's when I started losing weight. I didn't realize, I forgot about this dress until I was looking for something else. Let's turn this down a bit. Because there were some holes there. Oh my God. By the time I started, I remember the dress, it was too big. I still wear it because it's comfy. Paint it white. But let me, let me put this camera here because I'm proud of myself. Here we go. Can you see it? Can you see it? The dress did, did not, it was like right here where I couldn't buck, buck, button it. But look at this now. I can take up that much of the dress. So it's like, I, could, I don't wear it out because it, it, it makes me look even bigger than that. But this dress did not fit me at all. It's, and it's like, I need to go get me some new clothes when it comes to something like this. I have t shirts. That didn't fit. They're fitting now. But I don't have actual clothes clothes. So let's go get a my my trusty paintbrush. That's over here. It, it it's 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 all jean. It, it's let's see I'm gonna lift it up. It's got a little little frilly part, frilly bottom, you know, with the the roofing or whatever. The only thing is, is when I wash it, oh my goodness, get does it get wrinkly? And I don't like under ironing my clothes, so I don't wear it often. Hold on a second, this goes there. Ugh. Wall yoga. Hello, Shay. What is wall yoga? Let's, let's bring you guys back down here. That's a window open. There we go. So I'm using the Waverly Waverly chalk paint and the color mineral. See that 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 focus quickly. So what's the deal? I need to do something here before I make a big mess. Because I know Nancy. 
Nancy will make a big mess. Let's get something else down here. What do I have down here? Nope. Definitely don't have. Up here. There we go. This is what I'm looking for. Big piece of paper. Because I know Nancy, she might spill. So we're going to cover the whole floor with this paper. There we go. Do yoga on a wall? I, I I don't get it. I don't I don't do yoga, so I I don't know. What, I've 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 seen people do yoga, but I'm not sure what yoga really in 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 how you call it. So what should I make for next Tiny Tuesday? For the for the for the craft room. Any ideas? I was thinking, like I said, a mannequin, a sewing machine, the the little roadie cart. I have to figure out how, how I'm gonna do that. Cause it requires me cutting some more wood. And I'm like I said, my, my hand is shot from cutting all the, the calyx pieces. That's a nice color. What do you guys think? I'm going to have to do two coats but we'll see it after it dries. Hi, Rosie Posey. I'll I'll, sh I'll show what what I made um, today once I finish painting this wall, so you can see what what we're what we've been doing. Mini crafting table. Oh yes, I'm doing a craft mat of. I'm I'm just like just like who are you pointing? Like this guy here. I'll be doing one of those. I'm making some some things to hang on my pegboard. Probably do small stuff like that. A paper roll. Yes, I'm going to have a baseboard. Yes. I will have baseboards. If if you go look at my my bedroom um, miniature bedroom, I do have baseboards in that one. I didn't do baseboards in the kitchen because most of it's covered with cabinets. So yeah, I can do a a, a paper roll to, to come off the wall. Let's see what else you guys say. Yes, I'm left-handed, but it's hard to, to paint and not be in the camera. Hiding, you know, I don't know how, how to explain it. So... I do I do do things with my right hand. I crochet with my right hand. That's how my grandma taught me with my right hand. So I never thought to go using my left hand. Cut and cut there. See that's what was good about putting the tape because you don't have to worry about cutting in because it. it I'm sorry about that night bot um, saying Good Friday. I forgot to take him off. That's from from actual Friday last Friday when I when I had him posting that. But 
okay. You you can be be um find strength and solace in the sacrifice of Jesus any day of the year, right? Most of my projects have these faux windows, but since this one has the window up here, I'm not going to do a faux window. Plus, I want, I want as much wall space to, to add stuff to it, either shelves or little um, inspirational paintings or whatever. Oh, we're almost done with the first coat here, and then we'll, we'll show Miss Rosie Posey what I've what I've made so far. I need to get a, a new brush. This one's it's wiggle, 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 wiggle. Like I said, it's gonna need a second coat, but definitely wait till it dries before you do a second coat. So while that's drying, let's do, I missed a spot right here. There we go. We'll show off what I've made so far. There we go. Put that right there. You ready? We made today. Let's put this over here. Um, well, I didn't make it today, but I did show you how, to, how I made it. This Calyx unit it's out of wood, Dollar Tree wood, so not, nothing fancy. As you can tell, I, I, I didn't measure, so that way the, the lines were all nice and straight. It took a while, six hours. And then today, um, using, where did, where did I put it? Where did I put them? Here they are. Using these little templates that I printed off of um, my, whatchamacallit, that I made these little bins. See the, the, the lines on the inside? So I have several more to make, but I didn't think you guys wanted to see every single one I was going to make. You don't have you don't have to put them down there. You can put them up here, wherever. Thank you. And then we made some mini, mini, mini skeins of yarn. Oh, it focused today! Yay! This one's I love this cotton. I mean, I love this yarn. <laughs> so you can just put those on here, right? And I also made some some red heart. That one didn't want to focus. Weird. So, so we did we get we did three of those red hearts. And yes, they're all purple. It, it, it just happened that way. <laughs> but I will be making a, here. I I showed all the because I made them out of embroidery floss. I have all these colors. So. I'll be making more so that I'll be filling up a few of those with the yarn. And if you, you don't want to put them like that so you can actually see the label, just come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Go. If you don't want to put them that way and you want to actually see the label, even though the label is too tiny. You can turn the ball that way. So you can have that. And I have this itty bitty um, sewing machine that is too small for my scale. So we're going to use it as decoration on the calyx. Like that. Right? Right. Then we have this table. It's a kitchen table that, that belonged to the kitchen that I made. But I didn't use it in the kitchen, so we're going to be using it as a work table. It has a little itty bitty clipboard. And I also made this last year that I'm going to put on here. And then I 
A mini miniature? A mini miniature of what? Hi, Mike! I made... Let's see, see if it could be this. Where's my flashlight? Oh, I thought I had a flashlight. But does a black light work? Look at all those little holes in there, guys. I made all those little itty bitty holes. And then I'm making some little pegs for it, too. I was thinking, oh, I think it was going to go over there. And then I had this, this I got at um, clearance at Michael's, but it's too too small. You see how small it is? But it, it could be like a little side table or something that we can put things on, like this guy here. Who knows? So that, that's almost dry. Oh, it, 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 there's two other things that I made. We, got, we made the pegboard last week. So is that the Dollar Tree cork sheets inside of a frame? The frames I got on Temu as well. Okay? Temu has a lot of cool stuff. Link in the description box below, along with Harnell Media. I'm sponsored by them. And then my I logo, I mean my tagline, be brave, be strong, and create. It's not centered, but hey, only I, I'll, I'll, I'll know that, right? <laughs> You know how I did the spacing, Mike? This guy. I did a, I printed a grid and glued that to the back of the board and then just poked on all those little grids. The, there's some of them are, you know, I, I'm off a little bit, but to the naked eye, it's not that bad. So cute. What color? Because I, I want to keep this um, natural. Come on. Keep the, the pegboard natural because I don't want to re-poke all those holes again. Because when you paint it, it's going to cover the holes. Uh-uh. I'm not going to do that. But I do want to paint the frame. So looking at the floor, you see the green? I don't know if you can see the green. And the wallpaper. And then the gray here. And then the furniture is going to be white. What should what should the frame is, frames be? Because I want to do the other frames the same color. The frame on the, on the on the sign, the cork, and this. I want them to be the same, or not necessarily the same, but the same color family, maybe. Let me go get some water real quick, guys. It's actually my flavored water. Fruit punch. Now, it's blue. I don't know why it says it's it's fruit punch. Oh, refreshing. I had it in the freezer. These little frames I got from Timu. And then the back has a, a little groove so you can um, put your things on. So... When you put this in the back, it fits right in the groove, nice and snug. Ta-da! I think we're ready for a second coat here. Let's get some more paint. I want to make a dress form. I'm going to use um some polymer clay to, to, to make one and, and bake it. So that's going to be something I'm going to make. Um, like I said, the rolly cart since what, what I got from Tamu was not 1 to 12 according to their description. And I did get my money back for that. <laughs> Because I, I I told them because you you can you ask for a refund, and they'll ask you why. And I go, the description says one to twelve. I I, I didn't look at the dimensions, which I should have. But if you if the, the the first thing on the description says one to twelve, 
So I'm I'm assuming that it's one to twelve, right? But nine times out of ten, they'll say keep the item or throw it out, donate it, and they'll send you the money back. Cause it costs what three dollars or something like that. Because another item that I got that they also said it was 1 to 12 was the toaster for the kitchen. And that was nowhere 1 to 12. I also got my money back on that. But I'm, th I'm thinking of either doing it, doing it a giveaway, the little toaster. I should have done a, a, a giveaway on my, when I was doing the kitchen. But hindsight's 2020, right? This cute little, little toaster. It's, it's not. A, it's just way too big. See, I have a toaster. When the toast, I'm speaking with my the to, the size of the toast is the size of the clipboard. It's, it's actually bigger than the clipboard. It says uh, "Good morning" on the on the toast, and that cute. And, and it goes, it goes up and down too. You gotta push the button. And it goes up. Right, it got stuck. Hold on. It got stuck again. Hold on. The toast is on sideways. There we go. The toast goes up. When you push the button, then you go down. So you can maybe put a magnet there, put it on the refrigerator. But I still have it. They said keep it, donate it, throw it away. <laughs> it's probably cheaper for them to say keep it than, than to, to go through the trouble of sending you a a return label for a two dollar item I have another order coming in from them not sponsored I, I just like their stuff they sponsored me on one video so but I like their stuff so I, I have another order coming in it's a small one not too big it's like twenty dollars worth of stuff but I got a, a, a needle felting kit to make a little animal. I do have the needle felting kit that I got from them. That comes with all the supplies and stuff. But I haven't worked on it. So once I get the little animal, we'll, we'll, we'll start making some little little felt wolf needle felting stuff. I'm excited to try that. Like I said, I, I like to try things at least one time. I gotta, go, I gotta go back to quilling, but I need, I need. To, that's another thing. Yeah, in order to to work on a project or a, a craft, you guys have to get some good quality materials, because if if you don't, you, you're gonna get um. Excuse me, excuse my head. Okay, I'm looking to see if I missed the spot. Because if you don't get cool, good quality materials, you're gonna get discouraged. And not want to um, continue that project, that that craft. But I do like the quilling, and I, and I need to get some good quality paper, because the paper that I got is too thin. That's one of the things I I got from another company that sent me, and uh, that I would not suggest ordering. Uh, I think that's we're we're, do, we're we're doing good here. Let's push the brush over here. Now, I have a, a bunch of um, inspira inspirational sketches that I showed when I was doing the the butterfly painting a few a couple weeks ago. So like like this one here. So I was thinking of a miniature Nancy. <laughs> no. I was thinking of, of copying this and make it smaller to put it all over the, you know, do it like a, like a, a gallery wall. 
because I have a whole bunch of them. So let's 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 pull the tape, guys. Ready? Slowly pull the tape and and pull it at an angle so you don't rip the scrapbook paper. So we're going to very slowly, very slowly. There's a song very slowly. I need to f figure out a way to um make people, cause my my the pe the people I see online they're they're, they're first too ex some of them are way too expensive, and some of them look creepy. I'm sorry, I don't want no creepy people in my in my in my rooms. So I need to see if I can I can I can find them to make them myself or or find something that's nicer. Some of those people are very, very creepy. Ta da! Convert Lego people. Lego people are a little, are a little weird too. My son has a bunch of Lego, Lego minifigs. Uh, let's, let's go grab one. JJ! Yes. Give me one of your mini figs. Mini figs? Mm hmm. <laughs> on your wall, the, the, on, the, on the frame, give me one of those people. The Lego people. Uh, the Lego people? Those, yeah. guys, those guys right over there? Yeah, give me one of them. Okay. Yeah, anyone, anyone is fine. Let's see. Can you can you get closer? It's a little. It's, the wall's still wet, but what do you guys think of the color? I think I like it. Once you once once I paint this white, I think that because this this will be like that that white. So once this this is white, it'll be nice. Where's it? <laughs> Mike, look at the one he he brought me. <laughs> It's one of your soldiers. Quint soldiers. <laughs> yeah, Mike. Mike is from is from across the pond. There's a, there's a. Why why does he want to stand up? I didn't tell him you asked me. Yeah, he, he, that's the first one he grabbed. They're, they're, they're too small for people, and I think too big to. Well, actually. I don't. I don't mind one one of those on top. Find a little crafty person to put on there. Oh, Bro Jay Robbins too. He's she said. Here you you could you, you could take your little guy back. So that's that. I know. Go? You know where? The store. Left. Like I said, I'm not sure if it, that's gonna go there or not. Not sure where these guys are gonna go, but now, now I gotta see with this gray color wall, what frame color should I paint it white to go with the white white frame up here and the white furniture, or give it some color color. I got. I want to get these two frames the same color, more or less, or the same color family, and then this frame too. This got it's got a light wood color for the pegboard part. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. I don't want to, but I'm definitely painting this white. So I'll post pictures on my Instagram later. Yes, white. Yay. Okay, we'll do white. 
I'll post Instagram pictures later when I, after I paint this guy. I like to do a, um, a little reel maybe on, on YouTube later as well. I can go right there. Of how everything is, is, is looking so far. It goes right there. I was thinking maybe this goes right here. Like I said, it, it'll, it'll all change. I think that's all we have, right? So far, so good. I don't know yet. That, see, all this stuff is not is not gonna be glued down until I finish all the the, the different components. Cause if I want to, I, if I don't like it back there, I can move this guy over here and put the pegboard there, or move this guy over here and put the pegboard here. Or put the pegboard over here. So it's up for grabs. So none of none of and nothing on the walls and nothing on furniture wise is gonna be glued down until we get everything down. Cause like I said, I want to make a, a mannequin. I want to make a sewing table. I want to make a sewing machine. I want to make the the rolly cart, right? Um, I want to make some floating shelves, some more little inspirational frames, more knickknacks for in there, and maybe a, a, a larger table. I don't know add to this table or make a new table over here the sky's the limit Ooh, good idea mike because my shrinky dink is printable so i can print this on the shrinky dink and shrink it it's going to be a little thicker than it, than it needs to be but i, I i'm fine with that so I just gotta figure out the scale to to make it look right. <laughs> you guys are giving me so many ideas. And drink some more water. I'm thirsty today. I wasn't sure. If they, uh, uh, I think these will be uh, are a little bit too big, but I like them. So once I start, I might put them on my website, but I'm not sure about it because it's Coca-Cola. So it may be something that I do just for me. But I will make, once I get these guys, because this is my first set, so they're, they're not, um, let's, let's, let's take them off so you can see them. They're, they're, they're not perfect, perfect. But once I get these, um, I can never find this. I don't wear it. I lost it. Where did it go? Well, this side. For, for some reason, my, my, my right ear is, hard, is always hard to put my earrings in. Don't know why. But once I get these perfected, I'll be bringing those to the to my website in different colors. This this is um this yarn. So it has all these colors in it. So I'll, I'll be bringing those. And again, I'll be, I'll be making some of these in miniature size for the for the kitchen. I mean, I keep on saying kitchen. You guys need to need to um, got to go eating in a restaurant. Ooh, have a have a good dinner. Thank you, Virginia. Have a good dinner too. I would think I'm I'm about to 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 sign off today. I stretched it as much as I could. It was gonna be less than an hour today, but see, this side doesn't. I I can never. This is, this is what. What Nancy has to do to put earring on this side. Don't know why. There we go. I gotta look in the mirror. There we go. 
I also if I if I could I I, I would um. Hey, hold on. Let's see. Is it too big? Is Sheldon too big? What do you think, guys? <laughs> hold on. Is Sheldon too big for my, for my table? His head is right. <laughs> I thought it was just, just funny when I saw him on the shelf. That's my little Sheldon my niece gave me years ago. Uh, come on, camera. I still need some, a better arm for my camera. I, I got a better arm that, that doesn't squeak, but it doesn't do. Sorry, guys. Doesn't want to stay when I where I put it. His body's about the right size, but the head of his. I don't know because he doesn't even touch the ground either. <laughs> He's all proportion, out of proportion. He's my other. Uh, Hey, let's let's try let's try this guy. Hold on. Let's, let's move my painting. I don't know if you guys if, if you guys saw the finished painting from last Friday. I have a, a quick video on that. Bob Ross. Oh, he's too short. <laughs> Thank you, Tinker Bella. Yeah, I, I need to find some peoples that are right proportion. Um, put this right there. So, everybody, I appreciate you joining me today for Tiny Tuesdays. I might even do little yarn balls. Who knows? That I got yarn everywhere. I don't know why that's so so washed out now. I'm washed out too. Oh, the camera, maybe. Hold on. Let me move this camera back over here. Come on. Guys, I'm really sorry. Oh, well. Thank you, Aisha. And I uh, appreciate you guys um, coming for Tiny Tuesday, like I said. On Friday, we're going to be working with houses. Anything made out of houses for... Any material, houses. It could be clay houses. It could be wood houses. It could be paper houses. It could be a tree house. It could be a bird house. It could be a fairy house. Anything you want to make. And Friday, you guys can join me. I have room for five people. So send me a message if you want to join me on the panel. So let's see. I'm going to try this outro again today. So until next time, be brave, be strong, and create miniature craft supplies.